Hi, my name is Diane Schuster, and you're watching one of a series of videos that demonstrate the capabilities of CozyRuck's SSIS Plus, which is a software suite of tasks and components for SQL Server integration services. These demonstrations were built using SQL Server Integration Services 2012. The CozyRuck tasks and components are available for SQL Server Integration Services 2005, 2008, 2008R2, 2008 2012, and 2014 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. For more information, please visit www.cozyrock.com. In this video, we're going to talk about Send Mail Task Plus, which you can use to send emails and include attachments. The task can also encrypt and sign emails using the SMIME standard. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. In this demonstration, I will show you how easy it is to send emails and include attachments. I'll also show you how to sign and encrypt emails using the SMIME standard. In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how to use direct input, files, and variables to specify the various parameters. I'm going to send three files as attachments on the emails. I'll be using a variable to specify the attachments. Since there are multiple attachments, I use the for each loop container to build a list in a variable. In the second part of the video, I'll show you how to sign the email and encrypt it using the SMIME standard. As you can see, I've already set up the variables for building the list of attachments. The first thing I'll do is show you how to configure the Connection Manager. And I'll be using the SMTP Plus Connection Manager from CozyRock. I'm using Gmail, so I change the connection type to implicit TLS, and I type in the host name and change the port. Then I type in my username and password. And I'll test the connection, and it's good. Now I'll show you around in the 4-H loop. So I click on the Collection tab. I'll leave it set to 4-H File Enumerator. Here I've specified the folder that contains the attachments I'm going to send. Now I'll go to Variable Mappings, and there you can see the variable that I'll use to grab the full file path of each of the files in the folder. And inside the 4-H loop container, I use CozyRock Script Task Plus to access the script that does the work of building the string for the full file path. And I need to concatenate each of these strings for each of the attachments into a single variable to be used in the Send Mail Task Plus and this is the expression I use to do that. If I hover over this button, you can see the link to the script that I actually used. Now I'll drag Send Mail Task Plus onto the canvas. And I'll connect the green arrow from the 4-H loop container, and now I'll go in to configure it. When you first open the component, the only option you see for entering the parameters is direct input. And so I click on the Expand Options orange button there. And now we have other options for each of the parameters. The first thing I'll do is enter the email address that these emails will be coming from. And I'm using my personal email address, which is why I'm not showing it. And then I enter the subject and Again, I'll use direct input for this. And then for the recipients of the email, I'm going to use a file. So I select File Connection. I choose New File Connection, and I leave it set to Existing File, and I browse to find the file. And there is my recipient's file. Now I'll use direct input to indicate that I want my CozyRock email address to be copied on the email. And we also have blind copy parameters. If you wanted to set up any additional header information and we don't have a parameter that exposes it, you can use this parameter right here to do that. Here's an example of how you would format the data in the header parameter. Now I'm going to indicate that I want to use a file to provide the source for the HTML content of the email. 
So I go and I select New File Connection. Now I'm setting up the Connection Manager again by browsing to find the file. Here I'll set is attachment variable to true. And here we'll go select our variable named list, which we created in the for each loop container. And now we select the SMTP plus connection manager we set up earlier. And we're done with the configuration. Now we'll save the package. And we'll execute it. I set a breakpoint so that you could see the variable we built to specify the list of attachments. You can see it right here, although you can't see the whole thing, so I'll copy it and paste it into a text file so that I can show it to you in a moment. And I'll click to continue. And it completed successfully. So I stopped debugging. We'll take a quick look at the results, and that looks fine. Here's the string I built in the variable to point to the attachments. We want to point out the semicolon that's used to separate the list of attachments. And here you can see another one, and the one at the end is optional. Here's the email we sent using the package, and here you can see the attachments, and we'll open up this one, and there it is. Now I'm going to show you how to configure Send Mail Task Plus to use SMIME to send signed and encrypted emails. I'll be starting with the package that we just configured. And I'm just going to update some of the words here to reflect what we're doing. Now I'll open up Send Mail Task Plus again. I'll expand the options so that we can see all of the parameters. And I am going to be including the attachments again and those will also be encrypted. I scroll to the bottom because that's where the encryption parameters are. I change is signed to true. Now I'll set up a file connection manager and I'll point it at the file that contains my private key. This will be used to sign the email. Now I'll enter the password for this file. Now I set the is encrypted parameter to true. I'll set up a new file connection manager. This time it will point to the recipient's certificate so that I can encrypt an email that they can decrypt. Now we're done configuring the SMIME parameters. Now I'll save the package and I'll execute it. And it's successful, so I stop debugging. And we'll take a look at the execution results, and everything looks good. And this is what the email looks like that was received by the recipient. And there you can see it requires credentials in order to decrypt the email message. And there it is, decrypted. And you can also see the three attachments there. There are several different types of files that are associated with the SMIME security standard. We require you to specify two different files. One is used for signing the email and the other is used to encrypt the email. While this is not a comprehensive list, it should give you an idea of the types of files we're looking for. In this demonstration, I showed you how easy it is to send emails and include attachments on those emails using Send Mail Task Plus. I also showed you how to encrypt and sign emails using the SMIME standard. This component comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. And that concludes this demo.